I just want to say, you know, I love you, brother. You know, I love you. I got bro. much respect for you. The older we get, we start to reflect. And I'm, I'm, I was thinking about it one day because somebody asked me to compare, and I, and I said, I said, forget the comparisons because a lot of people don't understand. Is, is you came in him. It took the other guy a couple of years to get him. We don't go into that. But then I said to myself, we never had a argument. <laughs> no, seriously, Adam. Not even we never one. Had a, Not one. No, never had an argument. Never had a fight. He never missed me on the pass. I tried to never miss me on the pass. So the more that I think about it, when I left, they tried to make it a me and him thing. It was more about the ego thing. And it didn't it, it didn't it didn't take me till years after that that and this is what I was trying to tell Jalen Brown. Don't worry about useless titles. Penny had his people that loved him. I had my people that loved mm-hmm. him. And not only could we coincide, we did coincide. Yep. But when they start trying to, oh, Penny got his money, you didn't get no money, it got to me. And, you know, when you're 24, you don't think about that. But the older I got, I thought about it. And I will always be, be, be trying to prop you up, brother, because, you know, again, they try to compare those guys. I played with a lot of guys, but it's only a few guys that came in him. I came in him, and you came in him. So when they start talking about Hall of Fame and all that, I don't want to hear that if he didn't get hurt. I'm going to definitely be throwing your name out there. And I just want to say I love you, brother. You know I love you. I appreciate you and love you too, bro. The biggest thing, um, uh, Eric Thomas said this, and it just resonated with me. He said, I never, don't think about the obligation, think about the opportunity. And I knew what I had in you. You were the best that I ever played with. You pushed me to the highest level. Whatever I had in me, you brought more out every single night. You never settled for mediocrity. You're always about being the greatest and the best from when you stepped in and when I stepped into the uh, the locker room. So my thing was the reason why we never got into an argument is because I understood the moment, I understood who I was playing with, and I was always thinking about the opportunity more so than the obligation. So that made me, you know, be great at the same time. And I want to say, because I'm older now, I get to reflect on so I've made a lot of mistakes. If I ever was with you, brother, I would like to take the time to apologize to you, man to man. You never was that. Because again, when you're 23, you. T- <laughs> I, I know, but I probably, you know, I probably said some stuff I shouldn't have said. So if I ever did rub you the wrong way, I won't. But I would listen. I was reflecting, and I'm watching things, and I hate to think about ifs, but the only question that 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 really like is at the top of my if list is how many would Shaq and Penny would have got if they stayed together? Yeah. That that. That question right there, that question right there burns the most than any other question. Like I like I could say, oh, what if him and Stanley and Chris stayed in college? How many college? Like that that's a cool question, but the only question that burns me to my soul is this one. How many is Shaq and Penny would have got if they stayed together? And then the second burning question is, how many would Shaq and Kobe got if they stayed together? Like those questions you can't answer because things that happen. Those are the only questions that, that burn my soul. But I just want to say man to man, brother, because you, you know in the life we live, sometimes they force us to be a If I was to you and your crew, I apologize. But you know I love you, brother. You know I miss you. I'm happy for you. How many of you think me and Penny could have won? If we stayed together? If, and the team started being built around you guys? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, as many but, as you have now. I, I and, and I feel that. But because of ego and useless titles and this and that, and this is what I was trying to, t- to warn Jaden Brown about. He wasn't paying attention. He still didn't know what I was talking about, but it, it, it's useless. Like, for example, you got the number one podcast. What does that mean? What does it mean? It doesn't really mean anything. Adam, you're the, you're the number one upcoming NBA commentator. What does that mean? Well, Shaq, you're the yeah. you're the best big man ever. What does that really mean? Doesn't mean nothing. Are you a good person? You take care of people. You respect people. This is what life is all about. And and then when I said we never had an argument, so now I'm looking back. Why did we break up? Yeah, egos. Uh, other people talking. Egos. Yeah, other people talking. And and like that was the only time I broke the the professional jealousy thing because mm-hmm. Penny was on my. Jersey sales, eh, so I'm, I'm, you know, what? I'm gonna make a confession. 
Okay. When they said it wasn't my team no more, it hurt a little bit. So since they said it wasn't my team, it's his team now. Let's see what the other teams want to offer me. So the other teams offer me more than what my team was willing to offer, and I took advantage of it. But, again, if I didn't have that attitude, how many could we have won? Because I, I was really – when I tell you that I was thinking about it, I was like, I'm, I'm like really smoking my hookah trying to go back. Like, no, bro, we never had a fight or argument, ever. It's, it wasn't no – and it was no never – it was never that, yeah. ever. When I say zero, zero. The four years we played together, I never had to go to him and say, "Hey, man, I'm open." It's um, it's Ever. it's it's easy to look back and have retrospect and to get upset at our younger selves. I think the thing that I always think about is I never want to define myself by some thing that you said. Oh, I'm the best broadcaster, or whatever. Because then, what happens when you're not broadcasting? You lose yourself. And so for me, I, I never want to identify with someone else's rankings because then I'm always going for their approval. And that's not how I want to live my life. And this is what I and this is why I have problems with all these podcasts out now. Everybody's going for these useless titles, so they break a lot of rules to maintain that. You I really don't like don't, Shannon Sharp. It's okay. We'll no, get past no, I'm just it, kidding. It, I'm only kidding. Not, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. No, no, it, it, it's not him. It's other people. Like I can tell, I I could tell the famous podcasters that really like being a podcaster. Mm. I don't want to be known for having a podcast. Yeah, well, I do not. You can stop I saying that because it's offending. No, me. I'm no. Just this, let me tell you something. This, this is fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. An opportunity. I'm doing it with my best friends. I don't want to be known for this. I'm right. already known for what the hell I'm known for. I'm 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 known for two things: most dominant ever, and Shaq's a nice guy. That's it. And number the, one and the, and the shake memes. Listen, number one podcast, number two podcast. I hate to be arrogant. Doesn't affect my money either way. You know, when you get older, you reflect. Those are the only questions I, I, really think about. Hmm. The second you? one is the second one is how many would I've won if me and Kobe stuck together? Yeah, that one's that one's that sixty percent, but the one that's a thousand percent in my brain. How many championships would Shaq and Penny have won if they stayed together? Especially because the East started to fall apart. No, forget no, forget that. We never had a fight, bro. Yeah. Ever. Can't say that all about a lot of people. I was never mad at him. Ever. He was never mad at me. Ever. Mm. I was upset because when he signed yeah. and sat out. I stuck up for him. When I signed and was sitting out, maybe he was sticking up for me. Maybe he wasn't, but I didn't see it. Mm. And then you're hearing all that, oh, it ain't his team no more. It ain't no team no more. So I'm like, okay, if it ain't my team, what the other team's going to do? And then somebody else offered me more money, and I went. Never had a fight. Yeah, so it, it was more of a and, – and you know, but you know what's crazy about greatness? Sometimes you have to do that to become great. So even though I'm sitting here being hard on myself. Yeah. We wouldn't have had the the Shaq and Kobe Lakers. You, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have. You and know? then and then to get it make it to get, make it all grace, if I don't go there, oh boy, not a Laker anyway. Oh, Kobe. And if I don't go there, no he he he's in Charlotte. Mm. He's in Charlotte. So Know what I'm saying? Everything happened for a reason, but I, do your research. If I don't go there, he's not there. Well, uh, our guy Penny Hardaway, coach in Memphis, we wish him all the luck. Uh, great dude. I love that you guys can continue talking, and uh, we'll keep bro, it rolling. we never had a podcast. fight. And, bro, I heard you. No. Like, no we're about I'm, to have a fight if you say it one more time. <laughs> <laughs>